Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Foundation Examination. Greetings for the day, we'll be looking into the third chapter, so this is the second tutorial on chapter 3, where we'll be talking more in detail about the next topic, which is called as the review process. So here, finally, we come to the understanding of how a review can be conducted, what are the different stages of it, and what are the different phases, roles and responsibility involved when conducting a formal based review process. So let's look into that and understand that what exactly the activities of a formal review process are. So a formal review process, when you use the term formal review process, is basically how a review must be conducted formally. But we do have different types like informal of informal way of conducting the review where we don't want to utilize much of your time and cost involved during the process of uh, testing it and maybe, you know, developing of the contents and so on. So, but there is always a desired way of conducting it. So we understand this topic here. That's the formal review process. It basically comprises of six stages, uh, the planning, kickoff, individual preparation, review meeting, rework and follow up so when you talk about such contents you can be asked on a question directly from this section that which one of these option consists of the main phases of formal review so when they say just the main phases of formal review it is limited to uh, when you talk about the phases of it and it is not mandatory that the sequence must be right you just have to pick up the option which consists of these six phases in any order but in case the question specifies that which one of these given options consists of the main phases of formal review process in the right sequence then all the four options will consist of the main phases but would be jumbled up except one option which would have the right sequence. So whenever you talk about a process, there is a sequence involved. So please be careful with the options, what they ask you, and based on that, give the right answer. So we have got six stages where the sequence are. That is planning, kickoff, individual preparation, review meeting, rework, and follow-up. So let's look into each one of them where the very first stage is planning. And we talk about such an activities which can be conducted as a part of planning, which is defining the review criteria. That's like, you know, defining the objective of a review. So when you talk about a formal review process, uh, it has all these activities conducted as a part of it. Defining the review criteria, selecting the personnel. Now, personnel is basically the, uh, you know, the roles and responsibility of the a review process, which will be looking into that, allocating roles to them. So first you appoint the people that who all will be a part of review process and then allocate them roles. So we have certain roles like who will be the manager, who will be the, uh, sorry, who will be the moderator, who will be the reviewer, who will be a scribe. So we'll be looking into these roles also once we complete the process. Defining the entry and exit criteria team. Entry and exit criteria is not limited to entire process or maybe the test level we can have entry and exit criteria for any formal process just like this one where we conduct a formal review process so we can also have a formal way of conducting it by including entry and exit criteria for that selecting which part of the document to review obviously it's not mandatory that the documents which you review would always be of smaller size when you talk about the you know, low level design or when you talk about uh, you know business requirements uh, system requirements functional requirements and all uh, you know it it might be lengthy documentation so it's not uh, possible to take the entire document at a time and let the reviewers prepare on that or go through that at the same time. So if you think that the documentation which you're taking into consideration is of bigger size, you divide the documentation into different parts and consider each part at a time for the review because it will be basically turning it complicated and most different you know, defects would be uh, you know skipped. So you do not try to take such chances and make sure that the entry criteria, sorry, the part of the document is defined and you select which part, like part one, part two, part three of the document is under review. So you do define such thing as well. Beyond that, uh, you know, we are still talking about the traditional approaches team because agile is not considered here. That's, you know, that's the drawback of traditional, which was eliminated in agile by making simple user stories. So agile is not a part of this curriculum as of now. So Let's consider it only limited to traditional approaches. Checking the entry criteria would be the last or maybe the very uh, you know, first activity before we start with kickoff. So 
Last in the sense, like, you know, evaluating entry criteria is just to enter the process and making sure that we have met all the checklist of the entry criteria and then we kick off with the process. So the very second stage is kick off, which is a quite official term or, you know, corporate term about start of any event. And during this phase, we have two major activities to be conducted, distributing the documents to the reviewers. Obviously, the reviewers will be the one who will be going through the document and finding the defects. And distributing the documents, parallelly, you also explain them the objective. This objective of the defect, or sorry, objective of the review, where you defined in the planning, that is, what is the review criteria? Why are you conducting it? What's the necessity of it? What will be the process process in the sense whether you're conducting an informal review, formal review, or whatever. So you explain them the process that how long you're supposed to prepare on it, when the review meeting will take place, who will be you know, answering your questions or something, how do you pin down your presentation and put it across in the review meeting, and the documents to the participants. So here participants basically means the reviewers who will be going through the documentation. The third stage is individual preparation. So now once the document has been distributed as a part of kickoff to the participants, now the participants or individual reviewers are supposed to go through. So there will be certain timeline given to each reviewer as an independent preparation timeline where each one of them sits separately on the document and has his own understanding about the documentation. Now. It can be a group event also, but then we don't call it as a formal review process. That's a different type of review process, which we'll see in the next tutorial. Whereas when you talk about individual preparation, it basically means that I need to know every independent stakeholder's uh, perception that what you think about it. So if when it comes to every individual's perception, so they think or they see from different aspects of that particular understanding. So we can basically have a lot, lot or lot different defects being detected when we have individual preparation being done. And that's one of the benefit of individual preparation. So during this phase, uh, the reviewers will be preparing for the review meeting. That means they'll be going through the documentation and making note of their own potential defects by going through the you know documentation, understanding what part is unclear to them, what statement is incomplete, or what functionality does not have the sufficient information to produce it, or maybe you know test it, and writing their questions like if they have any clarity issues and such comments which can be added to any particular IDs of the requirement can be mentioned by them. So they will be basically preparing it in a form of presentation which can be presented during the review meeting when everyone gathers together. So during this preparation phase every individual reviewer will prepare independently a finding list called as defect list for their own perception. Now finally, once the preparation time is over, they basically gather together as a part of review meeting, where review meeting consists of uh, all the people, including the manager, moderator, the reviewers, and also the author, the person who has written the document, and a scribe. A scribe is basically a person who documents all the stories, what took place during the review meeting. Here, uh, we'll be talking about the roles and responsibility in more detail in the next slide. So during the review meeting, uh, basically each reviewer gets a chance to present his or her findings through the preparation and present it among all the people, in front of all the people which have gathered for the review meeting. And uh, based on that, people are quite open to uh, suggest or give inputs about such things and giving recommendation that how this thing can be fixed. For example, if there is a clarity issue, uh, other reviewers are always welcome to give suggestions that how the clarity can be understood or if the requirement is really complete or not because it's again individual perception. So it's not mandated that the right the person has raised the right defect and defect can be closed then and there itself. Or maybe there can be a traceability created that okay this information has been given in different particular ID or different requirement where you can find the more details about it or create a relation between them. So people are basically mean to say that they are open to suggest it's not limited to author, that the author should only answer the queries. People are also open to discuss or suggest or give inputs to close the defects. During this uh, meeting as well, uh, the documentation of all the inputs which are being represented during the review meeting will be done by the person called as Rescribe, who will be documenting the minutes of meeting 
and uh, creating it as a review report. So during this event, uh, we'll be definitely recording all the issues like a defect tracking system. You can use tools to support it or maybe you can do it manually where these defects can be recorded and tracked for further processing. Review meeting is also called as the examination, evaluation or recording of results. So when ISTQB uses synonyms or gives you alternative names for each term, make sure that you remember them because ISTQB can use any of these terms to ask you a question. So you must not wonder at that point of time that I have learned something about review meeting, what is examination or what is evaluation. So they can use any of these terms to replace review meeting. So hope that's clear to you. Let's look into the next stage. We have got rework here. Rework is where author starts working on the reported defects because finally it's the one that is author who can understand what the query was about because he was the one who has written the document. For example, if it is written by the business analyst, the requirement document, then obviously business analyst becomes the author here and all the reported defects are supposed to be fixed by business analyst by either uh, adding more information to it where it is incomplete or getting it in getting it collected from the customer if in case he also doesn't know about what information is supposed to be there. So fixing the defects will be taking place as a part of rework and also recording the updated status of the defect, which is like I told you when you use uh, make use of a defect tracking tool, then you must update the status that it is resolved or fixed so that the concerned reviewer can look into that and say, okay, fine, it is accepted. Beyond that, obviously, uh, he must follow up where uh, maybe the author or the moderator can follow up with the reviewer that I have fixed your review or fixed your defect. Would you like to have any further information about it or would you like to have any kind of further elaboration on the same defect or do you think the defect is still open? Then he can further collect more information and give it to you. Beyond that, we also gather as part of matrix for effective measurement of success rate of the reviews conducted. So matrix are again a part of formal review process where matrix can be evaluated for measuring the success rate of the review, which helps uh, the moderator and the manager to improvise on the review process. And finally, checking the exit criteria to close the process. That is to exit the uh, review process and it is one of the component for the formal review process. So finally putting it all together, a formal review process consists of planning, kickoff, preparation, review meeting, rework and follow up which has all these components as a part of it. If we miss or skip any of these mandatory stages or activities then we call it as less formal compared to formal review process. So here are the quick roles and responsibilities which we saw is as a part of planning. They, uh, they mentioned that one of the activity of the planning is allocating roles. First selecting the personnel who will be participating and then allocating roles to them where this is a job of manager. A manager could be a uh, the person who is managing the team, if the review is happening within the team, in case it is entire process, then the project manager will take the role of manager and have the stakeholders from different teams. Whereas if it is limited to development team, design team, or testing team, their respective managers would be taking this role. Moderator is a person who basically leads the review, including the planning, running, and meeting, and the, you know obviously uh, following up. So we have already understood the entire process. So moderator is the one-man army who basically runs the show and responsible for gathering the matrices at the end of the process and making sure that review was successful. Reviewers, which are also known as checkers or inspectors, so that's the synonyms for reviewers, are basically the individuals who have reviewed the documents or uh, basically reviewing the documents and doing the necessary preparation to contribute by finding the defects in the documentation which is under review. Author is a person who has written the uh, document or maybe called as the culprit of the process and his document is under review and the people are contributing and making sure that the author answers all the questions and fixes all the defects. So the one who has written the document, whose document is under review, is called as author. But a scribe, also known as recorder, is a person who will be just participating in a formal review process as documenting the entire review meeting. 
so a scribe role comes into picture only during the review meeting where this person will not be participating by any other means like contributing to the reviews or you know presenting the list of defects or something no he'll be just documenting the entire uh, discussion by listing the defects giving these you know documenting the suggestions recommendations given by other reviewers and all so you must must have seen a person in the court session where the judge or the witnesses keeps making their statements including the advocates and there will be one person sitting right below the uh, judge of the court who will be uh, you know making all the time typing all the time on the documentation so he is the one basically called as scribe because he does not contribute to the session a court session but he keeps on documenting that what the witness has said what the advocate or what the opposition has to say and what judge finally accepted or rejected so he'll be just documenting the entire discussion of the session so that's what is basically called as scribe who will be participating in the review and can be given to anyone Uh, of a mid level or junior level role to document the process but he must be also trained that how the documentations are basically done so he must be equipped with the process understanding and also about the you know how the documentation template is being used so this is as of now will be basically having a continuation of this in the upcoming tutorial because this topic is not yet over when you talk about the reviews basically we have got formal review process and the four types of review so we have got four types of reviews as informal review walk through technical review and inspection but i don't want to make this tutorial longer one so we'll be continuing with this this topic in the next tutorial which will be continuation of the same topic that is 3.2 review process so stay tuned for this and in case you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to follow my tutorials uh you know not only limited to istqb but i'll be coming up with all the testing tools tutorial as well so beyond that you are free to put your queries questions uh, clarifications in the comment box um uh, till then keep watching the tutorial and uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching happy learning